If you had the chance, would you spend the night in a haunted house? Well, a home in southwestern Minnesota is being called an Airbnb with a twist. <laughs> it's a very, very small town out in the middle of nowhere. The tiny town of Boyd, Minnesota has a population of about 170 souls. The character of it, just the charm, the woodwork, the ghosts. <laughs> this house on Scandia Avenue has stood in the middle of town for more than a century. Three-story Victorian was built in 1901, and about a decade later, Fred and Minnie Eckert moved in with several of their children two of whom died in the house. Right in front of these windows is where Minnie's uh, casket was for three days. When Minnie passed away in the home in 1955, her funeral was held in the living room. Fred died in the house as well, three years later. We've heard footsteps, we've audibly heard voices, I've heard kids' voices, adult voices. So we, we do have a lot of people get touched or the, their mattresses move that uh, some people have seen shadows, apparitions. Then there are the dark shadows some other paranormal investigators captured on camera in the home's kitchen. And the inanimate objects she and others have filmed and believe are being moved by some mysterious force. So it's probably one of the most active places that I know of that we've been to as far as the house, you know, compared to like an asylum. Some people say we have a portal here. I'm not so sure on that. Um, and I don't really know why they're here, why they stay, but we're happy to have them. And there are a lot of people who do enjoy staying in haunted houses. Okay, guys, we are back with another video. First and foremost, guys, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the support on our last video. We got over 3,000 views and like 120 likes and like 20 comments or something like that. Thank you guys for everybody for liking and, and comment saying you you know new to the channel enjoy the video this next location guys that we went to was called the boyd house it's out in the middle of nowhere boyd minnesota um there's literally so much stuff that happened that i had to chop it up into two two parts so part one and then you know part two so just stay on the lookout for that second part here but we've never had this much stuff happen um ever we've been to you know asylums and hospitals and other murder houses and nothing ever like this so we were not expecting this so we definitely will be going back if you guys want us to sleep separately which i didn't even want to sleep in the house it was about midnight 1 a.m here and i was like hey bro if you guys want if you want to head out i'm ready to leave i am fine we got enough for tonight let's just go home what we did and we stuck around we stayed the night but we didn't separate so we'll send 151 if we get 151 likes on this one we will definitely go back and we will sleep separately overnight. Somebody in the basement or somebody in the um, attic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, I want to. I also want to thank the other 70 subscribers that we gained on the last video. Um, if you haven't yet, please do sub, comment, um, like, share. It helps us out a lot. We appreciate it. Please enjoy this video, guys. We think they know we're coming. Yeah, I like that vibe. It just feels like you. Uh... You're gonna show up and it's like it's almost an expectation. I think it might be the stuff that we carry too that has like stuff on it. Got attachments, bro. Yeah. I mean, think of it, we kind of have a few under our belt now. What? Bro. Bro, what? There's no confirmed demonic activity uh, here yet. If there's yet. murders at a house, and you don't think that it's gonna be, you think it's not gonna be dark energy. Out in the middle of nowhere. It'll be, uh, 
It'd be interesting. And another thing too that's bad about us is you and me don't know when to stop. You know what I mean? If we, yeah, if, if our dad, if my dad wasn't there, if my dad wasn't there, we wouldn't, we would never would have stepped outside. And that's what we kind of, you kind of need to do sometimes to step outside and come down a little bit before you go back in. We found this place, we're going, and we don't know really anything. Yep. We just know it's in Boyd, Minnesota, and it's called the Boyd House, and there's murders that took place. Hell yeah. <laughs> and sounds, now sounds we're going. Like sounds like our cup of tea. It's her cycling can right there. I'm gonna shoot a fucking can. Yeah, dude, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Now we gotta oh get the my. fuck out of here. So you did that. I you made me turn on the recorder to watch you throw a can into a garbage. Not even over the car. I love in broad Beside daylight. The car. In oh broad daylight. God. I love I love We're fucking around. I We're love messing with these laid back country folk. Name that How movie. How do you shut this off? Name that movie. <laughs> Rolling into Boyd. Is this it? This is it right here. There she is. We're there. Yes. Oh, what's this? Equipment. Oh, bro, look at all the stuff they got oh, here. Shoot. And they got headphones. Bro. This place is sweet, bro. man. Let's take one of these on our, on our walkthrough. Sure. Oh, I these pictures, bro. I think that's... Ooh. I think that's the husband and the wife. Dang, bro. <gasps> Eckerd Family History. We'll have to go through that. Yep. Grocery and meat processing business. Brad Ecker. Death was uh, January 10th, 1958. Miss Paul Ann Peterson. Luella Bell. This thing's spiking right now. Yeah, but there's electric. There's electricity. It's a dang fridge. Okay. It should be. There's no reading here. Mini Eckert. Okay, where I had it. We have Fred and Minnie. Huh. Boyd House. That's good to know. To Fred Eckert's general store to sell their goods, such as egg, butter, cream. If they took these coins instead of cash, they received 5% more. All I thought of all was buttered sausage. <laughs> buttered sausage. God damn. There's no reason why I should just keep going, bro. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Here, you want this? Buttered sausage. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, we've never seen that. Did you get that? Yes. We've never seen it get to the red. Bro, look at all that. Just Dude, oh. cool stuff. I'm like, it's cold. It is. I'm cold. Oh, another one of those vents, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's freezing in here. Is it? Holy it's so cold. moly, so man. So cold. There's no reason. What would cause that cold air? <laughs> What'd you do? I oh, there's a Ouija board up here. You're joking. <laughs> We're good. Don't touch it, bro. Don't. Dude, no. what do you do? Oh no, why is it up here, man? Remember when we I said, don't like it on in our here. trip? We were like, we're not playing the Ouija board. Remember? I don't like it in here, man. And then all of a sudden, there's a Ouija board. Oh my gosh, those are some creepy dolls, man. Wait, wait. Do you want to? It's not cold here anymore. Feel that? It's not cold. Remember how cold it was, yeah. right? So I'll step out here real quick and then go right back into that room. Oh, it's definitely not as bad. Quickly, too. First of all, I need you to go over there and read that description of that painting. We acquired this painting from a woman who was desperate to get rid of it. This is the story. Oh, this thing just Spiked. went. Okay, so this is the story we were told. Her husband found it on the side of the road 11 years ago. It was propped up against or next to a set of chairs in a tree that looked exactly like the one that is in the painting. Her husband regrets not taking the chairs, too. It has always been creepy to her, and she had gotten a bad vibe from it. She is very convinced that it is cursed and haunted. She hated the painting and felt like some some little blue creature kept looking at her. 
There's a story written on the edges of the painting. She never read them for fear of summoning a demon or opening a portal. The They're right there. They're the right there. The story is written as follows. I don't know if I want to read that. Don't. Not yet. I, oh my gosh. Bro. Oh. Okay. Now I see. Okay. So there's chairs. Okay, that looks like a that looks like a bus stop chair set. Yeah. There's a monkey sitting right here. Looks like a tree in the middle of a living room. What is this thing? Is that a portal? I don't know. I don't know, but look at the writings here. I. It's not the same writing on there. What does it say? Okay. Five little monkeys walked along the shore. One went a sailing, and then there were four. Four monkeys climbed a tree. One tumbled down. Then there were three. Three little monkeys found a pot of glue. One got stuck and stuck then. There were two. Two little monkeys found a bun. One ran away with it. Then there was one. One little monkey and his wife lived in the tree for the rest of his life. The picture was hanging in their garage. Her husband, Ian, at the age of 31, sadly committed suicide in front of this painting. It has bad energy and she was glad to see it go. It spiked on there, didn't did it? Did you see that? Yes, I did. Did you see that? It's spiking on there, bro. On the door! On the portal! Bro? Remember I said oh that was a portal? Oh my god. Look at my arm. Bro, you are goosed up right now. Oh Dude, my it's god. that portal. I said. All right. You remember what I said? Let's get out of this room, bro. I don't want to be in here right now. I do, I do not want to be in there right now, bro. Bro, I'm so Oh my god, my legs, gassed. bro. Look at all look at those hairs, man. Dude, you There's no are way. Goosed. unbelievable right now. Are you now. sure that's not what was written on the side and you made me read it? Yeah, it wasn't that long. It wasn't that long. But look at you see the money all over the top? Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. What is it? So I wanna find out the history. Should we read? I wanna find out no, I wanna find out the history of money being left at locations because this is every single one of them so far. In areas where you're not supposed to mess with, like, maybe a possessed item. Look it up. There's, like, money left behind. Look it up. Right now. Not yet. Bro. We're going to forget. You see, every time oh. that I'm mentioning something like this, it keeps on doing that. Bro, ours has never done that. It's never been like that. And, and then there it's it gone. Is. It's gone. I don't know, dude. That's weird. Let's keep going, though. It was bizarre. Especially, especially that room. Bro. What? Bro. It's back. Go away from me. Walk away. It got higher. Yeah, it, got higher. it got higher, man. <laughs> I think this was the. This was Fred and Minnie's room. Is Min Minnie's Fred room? Minnie's room. Yep. <laughs> no way. Ain't no way, man. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's a little light. In there. Oh. I want to get our stuff. This is just our walkthrough, bro. That thing is kind of creepy. I'm just gonna shut this door for now because I do not like that. The scariest. What just happened? Go over there, turn around that corner and tell me what you look up and see. <laughs> Go ahead. No. This isn't like the other place. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's like chairs all up in there. A... What is this all about, bro? What happens up here? Heck no, man. That room there? Right underneath this. It's different. It's built different, bro. This is really. Oh yeah, hey, watch out for your head too. There's nails sticking out. Did you hear that? No. Hey, did you? What's that smell? What smell? I heard a growl. Bro. That's no why I'm way. frozen right I now. I was like, it smelled. I was gonna say it smelled like rotten eggs. And I thought you farted. Bro. That's why I was waiting for you to say something. Dude, no. That's why I'm kind of frozen right now, because I thought I heard a growl right here. This thing is going boom, boom. Bro, I I'm, need to know if I'm it's goosing up. Yeah. I'm so, goosing up right now, man. This is different. Where was that light switch at? Look at, look at. It's a solid yellow. I've never seen that, man. Just solid. <sighs> Let's... Let's skedaddle, man. Oh, I smell it. See? Did you not fart? No, I swear to God, dude. Bro, 
It stinks. I think only, we should- Only on that stair, only right there. I smell it still. Should we get out of here for a little bit? What is happening? Like, this is so early on. We've been in the house for like 20 minutes. We're stepping out, battery's gonna die. We smell rotten eggs. That's never a good sign, man. I thought I heard a growl. I really hope this camera picked it up, but I'll pick it up here in a second when we go to the basement. Right there. I don't see anything, bro. Right there. Oh, it's red. It. Yeah, it's red. Felt like I ran into a nail, but I didn't. There's nowhere that was no. that something sticking out, but it hurt when I was up in that, uh, when I went up the stairwell right I now. know, I saw you grab for it. First time to the basement. Why do we gotta have like that stuff kind of Yeah, what is that even for, man? Okay. okay. There's bathroom. another bathroom though. It's good for when you're sleeping down here, yeah, at least you don't have I'm to not go sleeping down here, man. Just FYI for any viewers. As soon as you get close to that antenna, it goes off. We're gonna leave that right there while we do a little walk, through, a little read through. Give it flipping. I just shot that we just walked down there. If you're standing right there, can you do that again? Do you like us here? All right, well, hold on. Yes, you like us here? We're friendly. Are, you are, are we talking to somebody that lived here? Are we talking to somebody that passed through? Are you Minnie? I don't remember his name. We had to go do our lore read up. Alright, let's go. Holy. Let's go. That was weird. It was like as, soon, on spot, though. as soon as I shut as my camera as off. I said something, would do, do. Yeah. As soon as I shut this camera off, it started going off. I always set some up in each area. Both these two chairs. So we can see it. We are at the Boyd House in Boyd, Minnesota. We did a little walkthrough, and right off the bat, it was already popping off. What was that, the blue room up there? Blue room. Cold. Went up in the attic. Sounded like I heard like a growl, and he smelled eggs. We both did not fall Rotten out. eggs. Rotten eggs, that's never a, never a good sign. We don't, I don't even wanna say the word in here right now. But we're gonna go through a little brief history. We don't really know a lot. So it looks like the house was built in 1901. Its first owner tragically shot himself, leaving a mark on the history that lingers to this day. The deed to the land goes back to 19, 1884 when it was owned by the Hastings and Dakota Railroad Company. And officially entrusted to a man named Charles F. Hatch, who shot himself in 1889. So that's who killed himself. 1889 was the first documented death. Does it tell you where? It just says in the house. But the most significant owners, as far as the hauntings are concerned, seem to be the Fred and Minnie Eckhart. Fred Eckhart Jr. was born in Ontario, New York, and was later married to Minnie Fenske, a German immigrant. They moved to Boyd in 1906 with their four children, Selma, Alfred, Oscar, and Elsa and bought the Boyd House in 1912. Fred went on to become a local justice of peace, a member of the school board, a city councilman, and a volunteer firefighter, which helped him survive a flood, a, the depression, and even a few robberies. They've been through robberies. Yeah, and actually the yeah. church is like not even a block away. Uh, Fred and Minnie's family grew steadily to a total of 11 children. Holy uh, piss. Two of the children died when they were only infants and two more died while they li the family lived in the boy house. That's five deaths. Yep, and two, Already. two children, two small, like babies. And, as did Fred and Minnie, just three years apart. Minnie died from a stroke in 1955 and Fred followed her death in 1958. Wow. But it seems that... Yeah. She's what we need. We're not even doing anything yet and stuff's just going off. But it seems that Fred, Minnie, and perhaps even some children have been unwilling to leave their beautiful home behind. They linger here as a reminder of the past. She has been able to dig... That one spiked. It went to three. Um... You heard that, right? Yes, that creak. Yeah. It's... Oh my God, they both spiked. We have two meters. That one's spiking. And as soon as we heard a little, what was it, like a creak? Like a chair moved, like got sat on. They both spiked. Look at that one's going nuts. Oh my God. 
Is someone over there? Wait, wait, wait. Bro, I feel like a huge mess of spots. Now that one, now that one's going. Dude, I just... I'm telling you, right now, I keep on hearing it above me. Right above us is that. I don't know what you're hearing. Just you can't hear nothing, so you just need a shh. In nineteen fifty five when Minnie passed away, the funeral was held in the living room. Right in that right over there? Over here, maybe. Living room and piano room, right there. Fred and Minnie both died in the piano room. Sometimes you can hear a note being played on the piano. The parlor? We're in the parlor. That's what we're in right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Active room with equipment interaction. Obviously, these things are both spiked. What's crazy is they're going at the same time sometimes. It's all, that's all I really have. Good enough. Should we get to it? We're kind of blind into it. Not a lot of history, so. Eventually, see what happens here. See what happens. We bust out the SLS camera. We're gonna do a sweep with the SLS. If you can hear us, can you tap on something or give us a knock? Hi. Oh. Goosebumps. Some, something's on the chair. <clears throat> we saw you. There's that chair right there. I thought I was going to be alone with the doll on it. It's not. No. Can you come back and say hi? What the fuck is that? That's what your teeth does, bro. Is that that blue room? That's the blue room. Oh. Oh. Something's there. What? You saw it? The I saw light it. light was on already before I even stepped out. And then something was there. And then it was there. Are you down there? Can you come up? Bro, if, if that was us that set it off. <clears throat> no, we can't set it up. We have to be right on. Alright, Maybe. Up. Right there. But... Now we'll try it again. That doesn't matter though. I was not even there. I know. I walked out this room and it was and I turned on. And it was on. That doesn't make right. like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And then as soon as I saw that thing on, then that figure appeared. Yep, like it was kind of coming up. All right, we're gonna go dark. I'm gonna go flashlight though, so I can see. Give me in, bro. Wait. Set the doll. Bro, bro, bro. It's gone. All right, hold on a sec. Okay. Can I see? Oh, shit. <clears throat> Just to try to debunk that though, point it right at the doll and see if it pops up. It doesn't. I set that device on the chair there. You're able to speak into that and respond to us if you're willing to. Is there anyone up in the attic with us? Are you able to say one of our names? Are you playing? Do you want to play with that doll? Is there something that you want to say into that speaker to make us know that you, we can hear you? Do you like that doll? You can have it. It keeps on going over to that doll. I know, and like touching it. But also notice <clears throat> there's Such no static. No static. At yep. all. Just clear as day. Yep. When do we get static, bro? When we deal with the demons. The Joker. And just to point out, we left these on and neither of them are spiking whatsoever. Going to the basement. All 
All right, bro. Okay, that was a good first block, too. We're gonna reset. Garden, where all the weeds are. Oh, yeah. Well, that was his garden. Yeah, that's what I and um, when I come going across there, you know, I get pretty close once in a while, so I get that grass. And I just feel like somebody's watching me. So I quick look, you know, I don't see anybody. I'm going, I was, I told him, I'm not going to mow your, your garden. You're fine. <laughs> and I went on and mowing. <laughs> Sounds like he's protective over it. Yeah, that was his garden. Uh, there's been people have actually seen him walk across the yard into that garden. Really? That was his garden, I guess. So we talked about this. Next time we come down, we're going to sit down. We're going to play cards is that, with guys. Is that a common thing? Should we try that out? Try it. There's cards down there. Exactly. Try it. All right. But last time we were there, there's a lot of activity on that card table. Really? The cards are, yeah, there's a lot of activity. But it's a little tiny train. But it, it, it moves. That's awesome, though. Yeah. I mean, that's what you want. That's well, like, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Sometimes it's kind of creepy. You, know, you get chills. It's like, oh, mm, man. You know. I chilled up a lot in that house. But you know, to be honest with you, I'll visit. Hell, I'll spend a night there. Yeah. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I, told him, I told him he's sleeping in the basement by himself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll I'm see. in the basement. Right. That's where the castle That was a was. normal thing back then. Apparently. Have you heard the piano play yet? Not, not yet. yet. We only spent... <laughs> well, not yet. Really? It's only been you a couple may, hours. You may not. It's yeah. hard to say. You'll, yeah. Sometimes you'll hear, sometimes you won't. Yeah. All right. Can you walk through the garden? We just got back from... The local little watering hole. What watering hole? Talked to a couple of locals. The ones that actually maintain the uh, yard around. The property, there. yeah. They, she mows along and all that. Strange how we go up there at that time, meet a local. Yeah. And tell us about the history of the home. They right. tell us about a lot of the ghost stuff that happens here. Right. So now we're going to go and try to find some of that stuff. Yeah. They said, don't mess with the garden. That's why it's all along. Randy's actually going to go out there because I dared him to go step into the garden. We're going to see if that increases some of the activity tonight because it doesn't seem like anyone ever has done that. It sounds like if you go step in the garden, what's the main guy's name? Fred. Fred loved his garden and it's they don't touch it because they're afraid he'll be upset. Now we're going to try to provoke a little bit. We're, we're going to see if damaging. we're going to see what the garden if the garden really has some I'm anything to it. There. visit your garden. I heard it's pretty sweet. Feel free to come with us. So there's a gate. There's a little fence right here. So this is his garden. They put a tree fell in here and they refuse to move it because they don't want to mess with the garden. So I'm just going to go kind of step in here. So step in the garden. <laughs> and now we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. This is going to make probably Fred kind of angry at it. Randy. So Fred, can you can you see us? Do you mind that I'm in, I'm in your garden? You know, and the lady that mows the lawn here says she always feels something washing her out the window. Only goes to this little outskirt right here. And who knows, it had to have been trimmed from the time that he stopped. Maybe know. not. I don't know. It hasn't been touched. 
There's trees growing out of it. Yeah, we'll do a little EVP session over here later on. Brad, you got a nice garden, man. Whoa. What? Bro, what? I just saw, I swear to you, I thought it was something that was hanging from this, and it was something behind it. You, I, I was on you the, the whole time. I was on you the whole time. But did you, where was it facing? Was it facing right when here? When you were jiggling, I was right, I was coming in like this. Bro, I swear. Do it again. I swear, I was walking, and I thought something was dangling off of this, but it was actually behind it, in this door frame. Grab something. I almost want to review that and see. Are we too? Yeah. I'd Gosh, just an uneasy vibe every time. You got goosebumps, bro. Is that another one of those fucking dogs? That's a dog. That's a dog. Man. No, dude, not another one, man. If anybody has seen our first Edinburgh Manor video, you know exactly what that thing does. I don't want we're good. Let's, let's just, let's just go. All right, let's learn. We'll, we'll come back. Wait, wait, wait. That's my buzzer. All right, oh I hear God. you. You mother. I see you. You oh mother. God. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> what? Did you what? Fuck? Yes. Did you just hear it said? I'm right. I see, I see you. you as we went on you. Oh Shut my God, I'm gonna bro. fucking cry. My eyes, My eyes are watering. My eyes are watering. And it doesn't make any sound right now, does it? Wait a minute. What? Let's go find. Let's go see if we can find the rest. Okay. Well, the one bedroom. Bedroom upstairs, um, when you walk up the steps, yep. the, very last, the very last bedroom on, the, on your right, yep. upstairs. Uh, a few months ago, well, it was earlier this summer, I put new paper and everything in, and the old lady was pissed off. Really? She was not happy. She got this really beautiful dress that, you know, for her, and she put it on the bed for her. She says, I'm sorry, she says, you know, here's a peace offering, you know, here's a beautiful dress for you. Yeah. And um, she waited and didn't hear enough, so she went downstairs. She came back up, the dress was on the floor. She says, I'm sorry, she says, I thought you'd like this dress. Well, she put the dress back on the bed and you know they had gone home that day. When they come back, the dress was still there. She refused that dress, she was still pissed off. Not a very happy lady, but is that- It's not the mini at car yeah, tournament? Mini. That's, That's her? Mini. Okay. Yeah. Done pissed her off. Oh, this is dressy, bro. I wonder which one. She didn't like. I don't know. I heard you really like these dresses. And you heard, I think you like this wallpaper in here too. But here, these were gifts. Sound like they were gifts of yours. All laid out on your bed. I don't want to see any of those on the floor. <laughs> All right, gear room. Let's recuperate, bro. And I'm thinking, Estes. All right, we are down in the basement. We are going to set up a few um, little trains. One of our, one of the caretakers over at the bar we just met. A lot of stuff happens down here in the basement, which we didn't. I'm gonna go inside the sense deprivation. We're gonna do what's called the Estes method. Um, so I'll put the headphones on, the spirit box, so I don't have any outward, you know, bias towards what Nick's gonna say. So Nick's gonna ask questions. I'm gonna say whatever I hear. I don't wanna do this, bro. <laughs> Why did I say this was a good idea? Let's Sitting do a there? little check. Let's do a little check. See if I can hear you, alright? Can you hear me? 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 I can hear you now. Okay. When you start yelling, I can kinda hear you. Well, I'm not gonna be yelling, bro. Alright, bro. Ready? I'm ready when you are. Well, get I just everything, wanna see what it looks like. Get everything all set up. I'm ready to go. Jesus frick. This is our first ever Estes Boyd House basement. That's right. If there's someone now here that wants to communicate with us, Randy will hear you through that device he's he, he's holding. What's your name? I don't get a single thing. All right. 
Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? Hit the light, bro. That was for the. That was for the. Hit the light. That was for the fans. <laughs> Alright, bro. I was, I was kind of freaky. I was so scared someone was gonna say something. It's all you. Little pit stop. Cheers. Ghost for the ghost. Where room are we going? To? Blue room. I'm gonna sit right there. No, you're gonna sit by the closet. No, man. I ain't yep. ready for that. Yep. I'm gonna sit right here. We're gonna no, shut that man. door. I'm, I'm gonna sit right there. Nope. You know, sit you over there. Sit right there. Oh, that's your spot, bro. I do. You I sit can't. there. I can't. Fine. Fine. I'll do it. All right, get that chair in the dang. talking to you right now. Two? Leave. Now. <laughs> Go. What if we don't? I'm in the attic? You won't. What? Leave. If you want us to leave, can you knock on a wall? Before bed. Leave before bed?
All right, bro. Bro. What, bro? You have no idea. What? The, your answers were answering no, what I was asking. Like, shut up, dude. I'm not kidding. Shut up, dude. I'm not kidding. I heard my name like three times. I said, who was in the garden? Who was messing with the garden? No. No, Randy. dude. Randy. And then I said, where are you right now? Attic. No way. I said, what happens if we go up there? You won't. What? That's what I was, I, I remember saying like something like you won't. And I was like, what? Who said that? And then I said, that uh, was weird. I said, I said, uh, do you want us to leave? Leave now. Go. No. No freaking yeah, way. Yeah, dude. I'm not kidding. Wait until you review no this. No freaking way. Wait until you review this and you see what questions I asked. Oh. It's oh, nuts. Shit. That's nuts. Oh my God. I need to shut this I want to do it. You want to do it here? Yeah, in let here? me do it. Yeah, since we had something, let's try. Bro, I hit what I, what I said. Did you see me jump when I said my name? Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. That's Nick in the chair. Can you see us? Yes. How many of us are in here? Do you like us in here? No. How come? Why don't you want anybody in here? People come in every weekend, does that, does that bother you? What's your name? Do you have a name? I heard you talking a lot about the attic when I was in there, is that where you owe? Is Minnie here? I've heard the same guy twice and I can't tell what he's saying. Are you trying to speak? We were in your garden earlier, I'm sorry. I just heard it was really cool. I had to check it out. Are there any kids in here? Yeah. How many? Two. Fuck. What's your names? Is there anything you wanted to tell us? Or have a message for us? How come? I just heard a thought. There's, I know. It feels like there's a something. Cold. Isn't it cold over there? I know. Cold thing on my back. I know. Like I'm, I'm I know, bro. When I was over there, I felt the same thing. And I heard a thump downstairs. And it's it's about as loud as I say it. Yeah. And when I hear it, it's loud. I'm saying it like it's. I know. That. I know. <clears throat> but I heard a thump downstairs like a minute ago. You did. Yep. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it like it correlates to exactly what you're asking. Yeah. And that's scary. I know. We do this. Should we go to the basement? And do this or go to the attic? Seems like it kept saying the attic. the attic. Yeah. Let's go rotate. Well, we got a lot of responses through the Estes talking about the attic, so we are gonna go again up here. I'm gonna put the mel meter on the staircase, so if anything comes up, we should be able to hear it. You have to be really damn close for that thing to go off. But Nick's gonna go back in. And if you feel comfortable enough, go ahead and shut off that light. I'll think about it. <laughs> Is there something you wanna tell us up here? Get out. How come? Do you not want us up here? 
Hope we're gonna be staying all night tonight. It seems like you guys have visitors every weekend, so. Do you have a name? Gwen. Gwen, did you live here? Are you from no. this? Are you from this town? My town. Your town. What is your town? Boy. Oh, fuck, dude. That's right. That's where we are. We didn't live here. What are you doing here? Can you make a noise for me? That was a lot, that was a lot, and I couldn't hear it. There's a light over there by the stairs. Can you make it go off? If you go, get near it, it'll make a, it'll make a sound that'll let us know that you're up here with us. Can you see me? Stop. Shut up. Do you want us to leave? You know, it's only 8.30. We're not going anywhere for a while. Don't go. You don't want us to leave now? Who said that? How many people are up here with us right now? Four. Four? I know Glenn is here, Gwen. Who else? I'm Randy, that's Nick, but I think you already said our names. That's three, uh... Randy! I'm goosing up right now, man. My eyes are but of water. How long have you been here? Can you tap? Can you tap? Hi. Hey there. Who are you? Hello. Who are you? Some man. Welcome. Can you see me? I know there's a lot of devices up here. It could be scary, but I promise you it's all harmless. There's a light over there on the, above the stairs. Can you make that go off? I did. You did? I'm going to try a little harder. I didn't see it go off. Can you move something? Can you move a chair? Move that doll? There's a lot of dolls up here. Can you move them? It's hard. <laughs> oh my god. I know it is. I know it is. Can you do, can you move anything? Or can you make a sound of any sort? Come back down. Where? Down where? Do you mean the basement or just downstairs? Where are you right now? Bedroom. Bedroom? Which one? Is there a bed in there? Dining room? Dining room? What the f I can't move. I'm frozen. Do you want us to come down to the dining room? Funeral. There was a funeral in the house, in the main room. Are we talking to Minnie? Was it your funeral? Who's the funeral? All right, I think I'm gonna get him out. Bro, holy fuck. 
Holy fuck, dude. What were you asking? <laughs> oh my god. I remember dining room, funeral. Yes. Yes. Well, first I was like, is anybody in here? And you said, get out. I was like, we're not going to go anywhere. It was only 8.30. We're going to be here for a while. And you said, like, leave, get out or something like that. And I was like, well, I was like, how many people are in here? And you're like, four. And you said my name again. And then there was a name that you didn't hear. And then you heard, you said like Glenn or Gwen or something. Gwen. Yep. And I was talking to them. And then I was like, where are you right now? And she's like, she's like, come down. You're like, come down. And I'm like, come down where? We were in the basement or the blue room. And you're like, dining room. So you were just listening. And then you, this. yes, yes. And then you, then you just said funeral. And I lost my shit. I was like, what? I was like, was it your funeral? Am I talking to Minnie? And then you didn't say anything. And then so I think something came through you didn't understand. And oh my God. And I'm like, can you move something? I was like, can you move a doll, move a chair? And you're like, it's hard. Right after that. And I was like, oh my God, I got frozen. I was, and I was like, I was like, I know it's hard, but you gotta just try as hard as you can. I was like, stomp your foot, hit the wall, whatever you can do. I didn't hear it. Was I did. I remember saying I did. I don't remember. I don't remember. I, you were in That's there for a while. Intense. Watching that back. Yeah. Yeah. Intense. I think it'll be more intense. Oh, I did. I did. I did. I was like, hey, there's a light on top of the stairs. I was like, can you make it go off? Oh my God. And then you're like, I did. And I was like, oh, listen. Bro. There's a light at the top of the stairs. Can you make it go off? I did. Yes. Meaning it did down there. Probably the, the top of the stairs downstairs. It was probably that one. That other stairwell. Yep. It was Holy probably that shit, one. Man. That's probably what it was talking about. Yep. No. And a lot of stuff, everything that you were saying was pretty much making a lot of sense. 99% of it. That's what I'm it. saying. It's like, and I can not, I can hear you just muffle. That's what I can hear. And then I, I was like, I gotta just, and then I You gotta zone, zone in. in. Yep. And then when I was in that, it was hard to like, it was almost like a, a couple times you feel like you're in almost like a tranced area. I know. It feels weird. It's weird. Like you almost don't want to leave. No, I know. That's, that's why not good. I, I know that's why I was seven minutes. I was like, all right, I'm just I'm gonna just need to get them out. I'm gonna get them out quick. You wanna go back in for a little bit? Up here? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Hold that. It's for the it's for the it's for This the guy, as soon as I shut the camera off, he's like, you should go in there, bro. You're the Aaron of the group. I'll do it, bro. <laughs> lights are staying on. No. Yes. We didn't we had lights on that whole time I was in. Fine, but you gotta be able to see me. Man. I'm gonna set this up right here, and I'm gonna be at the other side of the room. No, bro, don't be leaving too far away, bro. I'm not. I'll be at the eastern side here. And I'll be able to see the wall. Can you see me? Yep, I can see you. What? Bro. Bro, what? What? Probably gonna go. This one over here, off to the left, come on. Come on. Did he say what? Did he say what?